They're not picky, though. They'll drink the juices from some types of fungi and even carcasses. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more Tito Ecology. No time for BS. Things are looking pretty good. We've got some great weekly income going in. Now, one of the things that I've done is I've increased the timeline or the time limit of time to pass while we're away from the game. And I think that that's pretty good. So I turned the game up to, quotes medium. And what I did was I now get uh, these, these title points every week so we get quite a few and that means that we're going to be able to buy all kinds of neat stuff with them we also have this additional weekly income here for our different plants and animal diversity apparently our animals are doing really good our plants are doing okay let's go ahead and click on these and see kind of what's going on i had to create some additional agaudis because they get jacked really quickly by the ocelots. And you'll see that the ocelots are doing just fine. But these these little guys over here go down pretty quick. You can see their occupancy is only 5 of 18. So we're probably going to get some more of those. And we're going to buy all kinds of stuff. Let's go do that now. One of the things I want to do is I want to buy some new plants. And some trees specifically. Because I would like to get some cool trees going on in our our little jungle we've got here we've got a couple different things we've got this palm of papaya a flame tree and then this kapok tree now you can see each of these bars here kind of show you how much fruit and leaves they have we also have the strangler fig which could be cool let's go ahead and buy this papaya right off the bat because that's going to give us fruit and leaves which is good and let's go ahead and place a few of these down. We'll see how they do. We'll put, uh, we'll kind of put a couple along the riverbanks here. There we are. And let's put another one kind of over here. I notice things are a little bit sparse right now, so we're going to have to move things right along. Let's go ahead and speed things up while we do this so we can continue to getting some uh, energy back. While that energy is happening, let's go ahead and put down some more food for our ocelots. They always need new interesting foods. What do we have here? We've got some different types of omnivores. But one of the few things that the ocelots eat are these little rodent guys. And I'm not sure if we have any other creatures right now that we can put down as a food source for them. And we don't want them to die or anything. Let's click on this ocelot over here and go to, if I can get off of this there we are let's go to our biodex and see exactly what their diet was again so let's see on the small side highly efficient killing machines okay they don't really care about the tapers small and medium animals so why don't we buy one of these newer medium animals and we'll give those a shot we've got this thing <laughs> the kodamundi that seems pretty neat let's go ahead and unlock him there we go. And we'll throw one of these guys down. Let's put this guy, let's zoom way out for this. We'll use this top down method to kind of see where we want to put these guys. We'll go ahead and put these guys right over. Hmm. Where do I want to put these guys? Let's kind of start moving inland a little bit. We'll put these guys here. And we'll go ahead and put some some trees and such down for them as well. I'm not 100% sure exactly what they eat. Now, did you hear that there? Something just happened. Oh, oh, it looks like, it looks like this ocelot just went ahead and killed this Agaudi. Now, if you click on this little bell here, it will actually show you things that happen while you're away or like in the game while you're playing. And that's pretty cool. It's like a little notification screen. So it's a good thing that we've got all these little guys coming out because they are definitely needed. Let's go. Oh, wow. Occupancy 40. That's what I'm talking about. Let's click on one of these and look at our bio decks. They are not picky eaters. They will, in, they will eat insects, small animals, fish, fruit, leaves, nuts, roots, even carry on. So these guys will literally eat anything. That is so good. Many large carnivores will eat these guys, including jaguars and large snakes. 
Now, I'm not sure in that case if the Ocelot will actually take these guys out. So let's go ahead and put some of our little dudes down as well. These cute little guys over here. Not the armadillo, but these ones. We'll put a couple of these guys right about here. There we are. Now let's take a look at how these armadillos are doing again. Only one of four. I kind of want to keep some armadillos out because I think that they're pretty cool and they're a low, a really low cost creature. Kind of feels weird for me to say it like that. A low cost creature. Like I'm playing Magic the Gathering or something. Now we still have 30 Tico coins left over. Let's see what we can unlock with that. We could unlock another plant, which would be cool. We can also unlock another critter. We've got these pollinators, these blue morphos. That could be interesting. We could unlock a blue morpho and a tortoise. Hmm, that's an herbivore. We could also just unlock the taper. And then way up here, there's all kinds of stuff like cougars and jaguars. I think we'll keep those until the end a little bit. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and unlock this strangler fig maybe because i'd like to have like more trees and stuff in our in our rainforest it feels a little barren doesn't it there we go let's unlock a little bit of that let's put down some of these trees as well oh wow this is a big old tree that's what i'm talking about look at this thing holy crap let's go ahead and zoom out so we can put this thing down where can we put this wow look at this this thing's great let's put it right here this will get all kinds of use by the different creatures. We're going to put that one right there. Let's go ahead and put another one over here somewhere. Ooh, can we kind of move this? Let's move a little bit back this way. Man, I had no idea that strangler fig trees were so gosh dang big. There we go. Now we're starting to feel a little bit more like a jungle. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Let's put some additional armadillos over here maybe so that they can eat this, this fruit. And then maybe we'll look at putting some more, um, maybe earthworms or something as well. Ooh, we just got some weekly income. That's 14 more coins for us due to our plant and animal diversity. So diversifying is definitely very good. And in fact, we have more coins hmm, to buy these blue morphos if we want. They are pollinators and they're exactly what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and grab them, guys. Let's go ahead and take one of these guys and put them down oh, right about over here. There we go. And we'll put some additional plants over here too. What kind of plants? Let's put some papaya down. I think that would be neat. Or I'm sorry, pineapple, not papaya. And then we'll also put down some of these zebra plants maybe. That would be cool. We'll put those guys right over here. Put some there. And we'll maybe put some over here as well. Where can we put these? right by the water over here. That should be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get a decomposer over here so that we can reduce any kind of detrius that's going on. You can see here right now it's level one, which is great, but I'd like to keep it as low as possible. So let's put down, we don't have any millipedes yet. We do have these earthworms though. Let's go ahead and put down some earthworms. We'll put these guys right over here if I can get them down. Come on now, right about there. Yeah, that should be great. There we go, a nice pile of earthworms. They should be helping everything out at this point. These zebra plants are doing fine 50 of 50. Let's, let's look at the blue morphos and see what they have to say. So the diet for the blue morphos, they like to sip nectar from fr fruits and flowers. They're not picky, though. They'll drink the juices from some types of fungi and even carcasses. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea. Oh, there's all these different tabs over here, guys. Oh, man. I feel like such a dork. I didn't even know about these tabs. Look at all these tabs over here. We can see all kinds of things about these guys. Birds are the primary, are the primary predators of the blue morpho butterflies. No, it's butterflies don't have mouths. They have something called proboscis. This is a thin curly body part at the front of their faces and acts like a straw, a nose and a mouth all in one. Butterflies also taste things with sensors on their feet. That's cool. Let's look at the bi let's look at the biome habitat here. Blue morphos are only found in the rainforest. They're found in tropical areas of Latin America, Mexico and Colombia 
and they depend on rainforest habitats for survival. There's so much other stuff here, man. I mean, I could I could literally look at this stuff forever and we could talk about it, but we of course want to get more things going on here in our area. So let's go ahead and put down some more. Let's put down some ants over here. Like a little scavenger. We don't have any ants in this area. And there's got to be tons of ants in the rainforest. Right, guys? You'd figure there would be. Uh, we'll put down a couple more of these guys. Because they seem to die out really fast. So let's kind of put these guys like right over here. Ooh, I saw a little spot right here where I can put them. That's great. And then maybe we'll even get some more ocelots. Because we don't have anything like... We don't have really any ocelots patrolling this side of our map. So we'll put these guys right over here by this fig tree as well. So let's keep building out. We've got quite a few plants and animals now. Things are starting to look a lot better. Man, these fig trees are so cool though. I want to get some more of these things down. And we'll continue to put some more papayas down as well along the river basin. So let's go ahead over here and put down some more papaya trees, guys. Yeah, let's put one right about here. There we go. That looks cool. And we'll put another one over here because it looks like um, these blue morphos and stuff can really benefit from having different types of fruit trees around. So that's cool. Now we've used up all of our energy for the moment. So it's time to go down here and kind of zoom all the way in and we'll really get to see what's going on in our little habitat here. Oh, yeah. We've got all kinds of guys being being formed now. Oh, it looks like this guy's taking a little snooze. I didn't know if he was down for the counter, if he was catching some Z's, but thankfully the developer put these little Z's here so we can see that he is in fact sleeping. Not really sleeping on the job since his only job is to eat everything in sight. Now we should have some ocelot stalking around. Ooh, there he is looking, looking powerful and impressive as he goes to sleep like a giant house cat would. <laughs> But figures leave it to the ocelots guys and we should have a couple of ocelots that are over here as well if I remember correctly yes two of two but where could they be they could be anywhere in their in their territory and I do know that they have a tendency to walk all over the place these ocelots really love to roam and I'm not sure if we can find any. Let's take a look. We'll just kind of swoop around here. Ooh, our energy's almost full, and you guys know what that means. That means it's time to put down some more, some more different items here. Let's go ahead and put down another big old strangler fig. We're gonna make a nice canopy here, guys. It's gonna be sweet. And while we're at it, let's put down some more ferns because I feel like we definitely are going to need ferns, right? Right about here it looks like I put these ferns like way over here I don't even know why that that I ended up doing that I'm just <laughs> I'm just so excited to put down new stuff oh no guys a group of armadillos has died I wonder what happened to them they died in zone one that's the only zone we have right now actually now if I remember correctly we can actually and let's see here if I can do this correctly I know we have a way to go to the different zones here. Let's see if I scroll out. Oh, here we go. There we are. So we're in zone one. Unlocking zone two needs 50 of these coins. So how about we go ahead, we will get those coins, and then how about we go ahead and unlock this zone two. Eventually, I want to get this whole area unlocked for you guys. And this way we can have just so many different types of critters to kind of look at and see how our ecosystem does. Right now, the oh, oh, the ocelot, he's doing his thing. I think he just took this guy out. Oh, I think he, I think he just, I think he just took this guy out right here. Yep, he sure did. Man, these ocelots are really hungry little buggers. I'll tell you what, ooh, we just earned another weekly income, 17 now. Yeah, things are really going great because of our our population of animals and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and close things out with some additional plants and animals down so that we can have those set up for next time. A couple of pineapples would be fantastic. We'll put those right over here. And how about a couple more zebra plants as well? These things are so beautiful. Let's put those right there. And then some more ferns because you can't have, like I said, a decent rainforest without some great ferns. We'll put those right there. 
And let's go and get some more. Let's go and get some more mushrooms down too. Mushrooms are great because it looks like all the different animals eat them and they do the duty of being a decomposer as well. While we're at it, we still have 42 more energy left. So let's make sure that these ocelots have plenty to eat by putting another, another set of these guys in. Let's see where I can fit these guys in. Right here. Oh, not over there. Right here would be great. There we go. And while we're at it, let's put down some more armadillos as well. We'll put these armadillos... Where can we fit them in? I'd like to fit them in right over here somewhere, maybe. Right over here. There we go. We still have some energy left. How about some blue morphos, guys? We'll put some blue morphos right over here to do some pollination. And we've got a little bit left. Let's use it up. We got earthworms, right? More earthworms. We'll put these guys down right over here. Let's put them down over here. There we go. So that's going to do it. Our rainforest is really coming along nicely. Things are looking great. I hope you guys are enjoying Tito Ecology. It is so cool, and I'm loving it so far. Until the next time, guys, stay foxy and much love.